guys better tune in. It's a lot. Lay outside. Just know that. Welcome to another exciting vlog. Today we are on our way to Los Angeles. So we are on our flight making our way from the East Coast to the West Coast. Now when I arrive, my homegirl Nina picks me up and I am going to be staying with my homegirl for my time in LA. And we were just kind of getting ready to go out for the night. You know, have some drinks, get some food. And I just put on a quick little outfit. The weather was actually really, really nice. And this is just us heading out the house for my first night in LA. And oh my God, I don't go to LA frequently, but when I do, it's always so much. But I have stuff. to squeeze in some of my girl time. So this is me and Nina just having a blast. Her links will be in my description box. Now I already knew what I needed upon arrival. I needed some good food. So we pulled up to Beauty in Essex and got some oysters, salad, some seafood scallops these scallops were amazing and of course i enjoyed a little lemon drop really really amazing restaurant loved it looked really cute inside and as we're heading out we were like where should we go next so we decided to continue on with the night and hit up a hookah spot just have a little bit more fun tomorrow is the big day so we were just hanging out the night before the premiere party what's up guys we are getting ready for the day i just washed my hair i'm about to blow dry it some more and flat iron i have a few things picked out on the bed I don't know what I'm feeling today, you know, I don't know, but this is the day of After Happily Ever After airs on BET. I'm about to get ready for the premiere party. Your girl got to get cute. What's up, guys? We are hours before the premiere. I'm just grabbing a bite to eat. I'm with Nina over here. So we're just eating and... Yeah, it's a countdown to this evening. I need to find something to wear, so that is the objective. Because why don't I have anything in my suitcase? I don't know. Let's find something to wear after we eat. I just got a salad. We'll see if I order something else. Okay, Nina's lunch going on. I got a salad. This pop salad looks really good. So we're about to dive in and put something on our bellies. All right, y'all, so we are having brunch. I'm a little nervous about the season premiere tonight, but my girl Nina's coming with me to the event. So that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a red carpet and I'm so excited. I need to get outside. <laughs> and yeah, so it's gonna be a link up with all of my castmates and we're meeting there around 6.45. So we have a few hours until then. We're just gonna hang out, stop by a few stores. Like I said, we're having lunch right now nina's having some cappuccino a little cappuccino it's lit every time cafe marmalade if you guys live in the southern california or if you want to visit the la area best cappuccino okay she's been taking me to the spots last night where did we go last night for food um we went to beauty in essex oh yes it was so good the scallops yeah. everything was really good and then the hookah spot that we went the hookah to. spot was cute yeah it, you know it spot. was a little vibe for a tuesday i'm not gonna lie because i don't know what how popping we were supposed to get on a tuesday yeah you know but I it was like cute it was, a vibe. It was yeah, definitely it was a vibe especially for day zero she just got here yesterday so yeah so we just easing our way into the lituation that's happening the tonight the lituation <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, so I came into the store. I really like this dress. That looks really cute. And I did find this one other dress, but they only have it in red. But I was like, do we want to do like this much? This is how it looks in red. That's 
nice. Um, I didn't really want to go black. I wore black the last event. Red. I don't know. So let's try it's on. Hot to me. It's just when you do the cups. My it boots fit in the boobies. Fit. Yeah. Let's go try on some guys. The first dress is. What do you guys think about this? I think it's giving red carpet vibes. The way that we're like walking and making the thing shake on purpose, <laughs> we feel so grown. I really. This one seems fun and more like you know. I feel like we graduated into a new tax bracket just now. Okay. You Ooh. know. Okay, so this is the first dress. Let's change into the second option. More upscale. Yeah, party, birthday maybe yeah. even. Yeah, I really do like this dress, you guys. But I think for tonight's occasion. I mean, look, it even goes down in the back. Really cute. Um, I just think if we were, it was more of a little upscale. Nina's about to come out and show her red one. Yeah, yours is giving more than mine. It's cute. It's party for sure. It's part. I think it's more birthday. It's definitely birthday. Yeah. I feel like mine just makes me look like I have a fupa. It's like, cute what? though. A fupa, like it's just a little bit too. <laughs> just, much. just it need to be taken in a just a little red bit. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> I think the reds are cute, but it's definitely giving party. Like, oh, we're going to. It's almost giving New Year's Eve. Like, mm. it's definitely New Year's Eve. Yes. Okay. So, That's so cute on you, though. If we're going to a New Year's Eve party, you would catch us in. Let's. Yes, please. So, guys, we said yes to the dress. I'm so excited. We're going to look so fire. I know. The cameras are going to eat us up tonight. Can't wait. This is what we call a full tax write off. <laughs> wait till y'all see it. Okay. Wait till you see the looks pulled together. We're about to leave out the mall. Like literally these dresses were sitting here for us. The last malls on the floor. First store we walked into, it was men. Thank you. Yes, said yes to the dress. What Can I, I have a confession to make. What? This is my very first special occasion dress ever. For real? Yeah. Like um, I'm just buying this for this event. I never bought a prom dress. In my senior and junior year, I made my own prom dress from okay. scratch. And then for my wedding, I got a dress from some online website. It wasn't even what, a wedding dress. So, so this is, this is my very first special occasion dress. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Annie. Make like sure I feel like an old orphan. Okay, bitch. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank I'm you. fabulous now. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo we said yes to the dress. We said yes to the dress. Okay, so we're leaving up out of here. We have to go freshen up and then it's off to the event. Thank you for hooking us up. Check them out if you're in LA because we came right in and got the dress. You guys, we are headed out to the premiere party. Looking like Barbie dolls. Do you like our dresses? Do you like our final picks? I love it. Yeah, ready for the party. Guys, just pulled up to the event. Super excited to walk in. It's gonna be so fun. I can't believe I'm gonna be in, on the big screen in, oh my God, like two hours. So hopefully they have some cocktails, right? Yeah, we need some drink. <laughs> so guys, we're about to go down the red carpet. We're here at the premiere party for BT at their Happily Ever After. Just suspended it, and I'm always on go. I don't hesitate. 
take You still always know I make it, eh, yeah I'll be me until I'm in the grave, yeah See my record, I had to set it straight, yeah I'm made to kill like ten, 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 ten times ten I got wires coming in Some in euros, some in sec Some in dollars, some in yen I've been trying to keep my zen Keep my cool, keep my cool Trying to keep the family fit Get my food, get my food they tried to count me out. I'ma go count me in. Fill up my yeah. the first episode that aired tonight. It actually is in a few minutes here on the West Coast, so we're about to watch it. You guys ready? So, hold up, hold up. We need everybody to spread the word after you watch the episode. Please go on your social media, tell people to tune in and fuck with it. Shout out to my man Greg Parks. GP, I love you. Paul King, the lawyer in the building. One more thing. So, we have, I think, the entire cast here tonight except one. And I want to say, we miss you, Tyler. Hey, we love Tyler too. Why you wasn't saying that shit when we was all over here? Yeah, we need to get into 
some uh, dating stuff, mm -hmm. you know, like dating is this huge topic right now. Who's right, I tried to, I tried to. So it's nobody. Is it nobody happy in a relationship? Okay, I'm sure there's people that are like in suburban towns okay. where that's the norm is to get married. Yeah. But we're city girls. We live in cities. Yeah. And that's different behavior. Typically, people are focused on themselves, focused on their career. Guilty, we both are. But at the yeah. same time, I feel like we could easily also focus on a partner. Yeah. I think I can multitask and do both. Yeah. So what's the problem? Yeah, so what's the problem in Los Angeles, Atlanta, the Houstons? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like everybody is just so much for self? It's personal gain, personal benefits. like Yes, and it sucks because you can't really fault any of us. Like The generation we're born in, most of us are millennials. Born after 1979, you feel me, and before 1996. So we're all in that hustle 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 because back in the day you had to have uh, a wife in the house and the husband it was okay with just one income now it requires two incomes yeah but we can't fault men for like trying to focus on their money and they can't fault us for being independent for that because nowadays yeah. that's what's required no for real i do feel like being independent does present its drawbacks from finding true love because you know, it's kind of like going up a hill. There are all these people at the bottom in the valley. There's more people in the valley than there are at the peak of the mountain. Mm -hmm. So, if you are successful and you're at the top, are you going to be looking down here? No, this is your view. It's up here. Yeah. So you need to find other people who also have that view. Yeah. The problem is, is that we're in this weird paradigm shift. I have a whole theory about this, girl. Okay. Yes, we're in a paradigm shift where we're switching from the patriarchy back to the matriarchy so men are having a hard time dealing with the fact that women have a voice women have rights women are they don't need men mm -hmm. so but they're coming around i feel like they're in route yeah the evolution is here yeah i want to feel feel i want to feel supported by men you know as mm -hmm. a woman like when i date you i want to feel like you care about my dreams my aspiration my business like we're whole powerhouses over here that people don't realize like all the things that goes into the brand that we actually have to do like we want to feel supported in that as well mm -hmm. you know absolutely and i feel like you know i'm gotten to this point where i just accept guys it's so sad because i want to hold them to a higher a standard i want yeah. to be like no this is this and they're gonna be this but i'm so accepting of men now that i'm just like i don't think that they're able to balance multiple things the way we are is that bad the fact that we're kind of losing a little bit of faith because do you feel and like and then i feel like they'd be like that's masculine well, if we have to step up to the to, to the plate in the areas, you know, we love stepping up to the plate and we love, no, literally, you know, I'm staying with Nina for my time in LA and I have my suitcase. Now I weigh the suitcase is like 45 pounds. Nina is like, I was like, okay, we're going to, we're going to take the suitcase up together. I look up, Nina is just like, I got it. I Girl, with up, the I case of water. With a whole nother case. Like, she's like, I'll do it. Guys, so, for what? And I'm not, yeah. I'm going to do it with a smile. I'm not about yeah. to sit here and be like, you she know. She didn't whimper about it. Nothing. Right. It's just already done. We're so used to that. Yeah. I don't have high expectations for men. Like, oh, I wish we had a man around to bring this suitcase up. Girl, what? Yeah. And I hate to say it, but growing up with a single mom, I never had that in the house. And my mom never complained. So yeah. I'm just used to doing things for self with a smile. You know, I, I feel like I want to find a man who appreciates that. Like, I want to do stuff for my woman, but the fact that she really don't wait on nobody is a turn on to me. Yeah. I know she's going to get it done regardless. Yeah. She's not a just lay around type of... Yeah. But don't you think, like, the fact that we're even having this conversation, that's so sad to me because that is immaturity. Men are not capable of having a balance of recognizing strength and also still supporting. Like, why it got to be one or the other? Like, yeah. you have to be totally dependent on a dude or you're totally independent. No, it's okay to have this, the, if you need to be independent, then cool. Yeah. I want to know how to hunt, but I don't want to have to hunt. Yeah. Because nobody like hunting. I want to sit, kick my feet up. Did you get the deer? Right. Is the deer done, babe? I just want to know, do you want it seasoned before or after? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Okay, how do you like it cooked? <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what the switch is going to be, but it is definitely, I feel like, something in the men that is just not strong enough. You know, we went to an event last night. It was the premiere party for BT Happily After Ever After. And we were there, and you said that it was men in the room, but none were being really approaching or really like say, wanting to pursue you or get your number or say, hey, can we get Instagrams? None of them. No closing the deal was happening. It was so many beautiful black men there last night. And not to say that just because you're beautiful and I'm beautiful, we got to talk. But we're here for a dating show. So I assume most of us are witted and single and this is the, we know the program. Yeah. So the fact that it's so many beautiful men and, you know, we're getting looks. Yeah. We're getting, oh, you got, you look so good. Beautiful. Yeah. Your dress is beautiful. Yeah. But it's, that's it. It's at the compliment. It stops there. Like, why can't it be more? Men need to not be afraid to be rejected, not be afraid to ask questions, have a conversation. Yeah. They're going to come around. They will. Like, it's kind of like, it's just like, after the dates, they kind of get lost. They don't even know what to do. I think that is a lack of maturity, one. Because not all men are that way. It's a mature thing. But then, two, men are naturally selfish. Naturally. Yeah. They, because of the, pa the patriarchy. The patriarchy has made them feel like the world exists for me through my lens, through my gaze. And a woman is here to be my wife, to support me. And if I have to do the opposite, that makes me less of a man supporting a woman what that's crazy mm -hmm. no she should be supporting me i am the sun and she is the planets that orbit me not for real no yeah but that's why i feel like we're changing because the patriarchy we we've been fucking mm -hmm. we've been swinging mm -hmm. sorry for the cursing i don't know if we do that over here but <laughs> but yeah no it's changing it is but that's where it starts is recognizing like there is a lack of emotional maturity and direction yeah Mm -hmm. within them and then we're getting at the age where you know we're not in the early 20s anymore we're maturing you know the age is going to keep creeping up I mean every year it's going to keep changing that digit going to keep going up yeah so it's kind of just like you know my biggest thing is what do, what do the women do in the meantime between time you know we're focused on the business the other day you was like I'm actually bored you Girl. working on the business. The business is successful. The business is making money. You're doing that. Family. Happy. So you can't yeah. put a time on, well, if you found that person today, when would you want to have kids? But if I found that person today, I just know we would definitely get the ball rolling. We would definitely be moving the needle every day. Because right now, the needle's not moving. Yeah. Does that scare you? No. I'm not scared of that because i have found love before and it's nice yeah but it scares me the thought process of having to sift through so many other guys again because we was we were joking about this earlier it's a numbers game you guys it yeah. is but at the same time you're, it's not a game because you're playing with your emotions you're playing with your lives you're playing with your health your safety your experiences yeah. trauma but the more people that you get in contact with the more people you message, the more people you go on dates with, means you increase your chances of finding your person. Wait, so back to our original topic, which is advice we would give ourselves in our younger 20s. Try not to get so emotionally invested so soon. Yes. Oh my goodness. And I think that women should have more fun dating without that emotional, like, attachment yeah it sucks though because it's against human nature mm -hmm. we want to feel safe we want to feel yeah. like you're home i found yeah. you i love you yeah yeah we want to feel that way yeah but but not every scared. guy yeah and not every guy you can do that with like you definitely have to start thinking more logical within the dates like Wait. i feel like younger on you can go on the dates like oh guy like oh he's the one you do those things a lot earlier but as you get older it shifts into okay now i gotta learn some more information about you right no we're talking logistics now <laughs> i need the numbers i need the stats do you have a record 
<laughs> I need it. Thanks. Hand it over. <laughs> Where are the files? Where Where's the Carfax? <laughs> Absolutely. Where's the Carfax? Speaking of second piece of advice I would give to the, my younger 20-something-year-old, and if I was a man, I would still give myself this advice. Self-love is not a destination. It is happening continuously. Yeah. You're going to forever be on a journey of self-love. And I bring that up because... Men also need to focus on loving themselves. You can love someone else so much better when you love yourself. We don't talk about it enough with men. We always talk about that with women because we want to change our looks for men or for society. So we're always reaffirming to women like, love yourself, love your body the yeah, way you work are. Work on yourself, yeah. And so we become these bad bitches. Because we've and done the work, we're, we're doing meditating, work. we're going to the church service, you know. But no one talks to men about these things. They're not doing the work. So there's projected insecurities, there's all these self doubts, there's this defeatist mindset. Now you don't know how to accept love or give it back because you don't know the feeling. So yeah, I would give that to my younger self if I was a dude or a woman. Get into it, self love. Yeah, get into it. The sooner it. the better. Sometimes you think you're ready. Like I'm so ready, and the universe just be like, ready for what? Right. They throw a little test, little sprinkle, little spicy stuff in there. some pop quizzes for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough pop quizzes. So look though, what's something you would give yourself as advice in your younger 20s? Work on learning the person and if it's actually a right fit. Like if you guys actually bought together, like are you guys actually friends? I love that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Like do you just like this guy because of his looks or do you like him because he's a good person to you? So I guess yeah. I found myself in situations because I liked the guy, but I couldn't say like he was a good person to me. Mm -hmm. But it's like, how do you, how do I have all this love, love for somebody that isn't even fulfilling me, but I like him so much? Girl, this is literally how I feel. <laughs> no, I ask myself this question every day, which is why I'm like in a weird conundrum of, I don't think I actually like you. Mm. I think I just have a trauma bond with you because I don't like the way that you make me feel. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like, I like that. Yeah. Learn the person. What is it that you really like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can get the fantasy, the love fantasy. You just get so caught up in it. It's like a world, it's like a tornado that you just get wrapped up into that person, mm -hmm. into whatever they're bringing you. Heaven forbid if they're talking to multiple females and then. It makes you feel some type of way then you almost feel like you're competing with the female like do am i i'm the situation am i addicted to the situation now like the trauma of the situation that keeps me am i held here captive i feel like this is we need a part two because <laughs> <laughs> now we're really getting into it we're, we're about to cover all the bases listen in the world of love we are going to cover everything on this channel, okay? <laughs> Today is... I just think overall, all friendships matter mm -hmm. in the, in the self-love and learning yourself, learning who you're supposed to be with. Like, that also has to do with female friendships as well. Yeah. Because if you're, you're... Because it affects your mind, like how you think, who you hang out with. So all of it matters. Like who, who is in your circle, who's in your life matters. And I would evaluate everybody. Jayla said, clear the board. <laughs> Hand it here. Give it to Eraser. <laughs> Everybody's getting cleared. <laughs> me, I'm just like, let me put a little asterisk a star by that person name. I see you, me. Okay. <laughs> this is, yeah. so flip the table, start over. <laughs> Everyone's getting evaluated because it matters. <laughs> so... No, sometimes. <laughs> no, but so do be those friends sometimes. Facts, actually. You have a point. The sometimes. No, this is really going into I've had friends two. sabotage my a guy relationship. They tried. Or, yeah, I've had friends that were pawns in the relationship because my dude at the time knew that he could get my other friends to do stuff. <laughs> yeah. Now he's so sliding in the DMs of I the have friends. To, I have to erase. I have to use the Jayla method on this one. <laughs> 
And speaking of love, you guys, don't forget to stream on BET after Happily Ever After. Um, Homegirl right here, killing it in the first episode. So also let us know what, if you guys watched and what you thought about it. Okay. She don't want to plug, but I'm going to give her a shameless <laughs> plug. Everybody watch J-Law TV. It's pulled up to Javier's. We're having a lunch today. We wanted some Mexican food. Yum. You guys, I'm just hanging out in LA right now, taking in my last few hours here and hanging out. I've had such an amazing time in LA. Like, literally, October feels so amazing. The sun was shining for me. Like, I'm just so happy right now and just so blessed and just thankful and just kind of like at peace and like content with everything that's going on. What you have to say, Nina? I second all of that. <laughs> We've been talking about a lot of things, like a lot of like girl talks and just like growth, you know, like Nina, you were at my 25th birthday in Jamaica <laughs> and I'm about to walk into 28. Girl, like, time flies. Time freaking flies. Yeah, so. You still look the same, but you haven't Okay. <laughs> oh, we're still bad. We're still bad about a year, y'all. <laughs> So yeah, y'all, we're just hanging out and I'm just taking in this moment for real. So I'm super happy. Thank you for being in this moment with me. Of course. This time in life. I love you. Oh, I, I love do. You too. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're one of the rare people that I feel like matches my energy. Even if, you know, I'm goofy and hyper and you're not necessarily, you still match the drive, the overall vibe, the yeah. assignment. Yeah. We understand the assignment. Yeah, we know okay? why we're here. We know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue on with the night. Now, we are doing some things that's cameras, no cameras. Y'all, we about to be so exclusive. I'm taking Jayla to the Delilah tonight. And then she's taking me to the Soho house. Yes. And neither one of them, no cameras allowed. No cameras. So I'm excited about tonight and wherever it takes us. All right, bye guys. I had to be here with one of my castmates for me to even say this because if I say it and I don't got no backup, then it's like I'm a liar or something. That's for a fact. Rod, <laughs> now you know that it was a whole conversation. It was very known that I did not like. No, I see you. He's like, please don't knock me. Please don't head. swing at all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot going on in the art gallery. Okay, there's so many different things that can go wrong. Huh? <laughs> oh, wow. oh my god! Oh my god! Rod. Yes. Wasn't it a whole conversation that happened in the first 48 hours that it was very much at the first mixer, at the mixer, at the mixer? Wasn't it known that what? Was it like, was it like, oh, we don't know what Jayla's sexuality did? Was it like that? Or was it no? I can say with a lot of confidence that, you scared me, that the, the, hey, I was tired as fuck. This is like 3 a.m. We're having a lot of these conversations, but I remember so clearly we sat around like six of us and Mike, Mike asked you, are you into women? And you said no. And I remember thinking, well, she's not going to go on with Mike Mike. And then he did. And that was confusing. And, so, so, and, and that wasn't what was, none of that version of the conversation was shown on TV. No, That's accurate. None of that was shown on TV. Like, I don't think I made it non-clear. It's just, uh, not y'all piece me together like that. 